Hi everyone, Letty here with this beautiful place. Tarot, how's everybody doing today? Today's reading is going to be, what do others find attractive about you? Please go ahead, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If this is your first time watching me, welcome, welcome. So go ahead, breathe in, breathe out, and choose a new pile. The first pile is going to be the black cat. The second pile is going to be the winged cow. And the third pile is going to be the turtle with glasses. <laughs> I've already pre-pulled some cards for you. Um, if you have seen more than two of my videos, please go ahead and subscribe. This is an energetic exchange. You can also like the video. Thank you. So let's get started. Pile one, what do people find attractive about you this could be physical this could be non-physical um let's see i have pre-pulled some cards here and then i'm also going to shuffle on camera so we have here time to restore we have here follow the signs next we have soul kin number 16 recognition family kinship Next, we have Life Restored Priestess of the Phoenix. And last but not least, we have Talisman of Potency, Charging Sacred Objects of Power. Wow. So pile number one, I'm getting uh, that some of you may have dark hair or dark features. You can also be black um, because we have Soulkin here. I'm getting that people right away treat you like family or they think that you are, I'm hearing simpatica in Spanish. Simpatica is like, you're just a good person to get to know. You're somebody that instantly they want to take home to their parents. Um, whether you're masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. Um, you may have very nice long legs or you might be very tall is also what I'm hearing. Um, you may also be very um, spiritual, uh, charging sacred objects of power with this card. So I am getting, um, you might be Middle Eastern, you could be from Egypt. Um, yeah, your eyes are also hypnotic is also what I'm hearing. Um, so you frequently draw people in by your gaze or by your eyes life restored priestess of the phoenix so you could be a, a high priestess you can be a high priest um somebody who is very much into uh esoteric studies occult knowledge um yeah with soul kin here being recognition family kinship i'm getting that um people instantly take a liking to you pile one time to restore i feel like right now you are going through a a down period a period of relaxing maybe you're just getting over a cold um shout out to y'all that know that i'm getting over a cold uh check out get you see your tarot shout out to terry y'all thank you terry for sending me um some money for my birthday my <laughs> venmo thank you so much girl um because this was the black cat pile i'm guessing you might be very witchy um, you can consider yourself a bruja, a brujo, a sancista, you know, someone who does root work is what I'm hearing, hoodoo, voodoo, things of that nature. You might also be from an Afro-Cuban country, Puerto Rico, Cuba, um, Haiti, etc. is what I'm feeling with this pile. You have the scarab here, the scarab beetle. <clears throat> So maybe you do like to wear jewelry, talismans, evil eye protection, things of that nature that help protect you. Yeah. It's a great pile, guys. Pile one. Let me go ahead and pull some tarot. Let me see what else I get from pile one. You might also uh, like big chunky jewelry is what I'm hearing. Uh, you might also like gold or silver definitely you might be into chunky jewelry 
You might also like headdresses or uh, to wrap your hair is what I'm hearing. I am looking at this cobra on top of her, her third eye. I'm also hearing kundalini. So maybe recently you've had a kundalini awakening. Give me three, please, Spirit, Archangel Metatron. <clears throat> we have here Temperance, the Fix-It Angel. So you could be a Sagittarius. Yeah, that's about alchemy. That's also about blending. Um, so you might be a dual sign. I'm getting a lot of dual signs here. Gemini, Sag, Pisces. Who's the other one? Virgo. Is it Virgo? Yeah. Next, we have Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, so you're somebody who... Uh, I'm hearing moist with this card. I don't know why I'm hearing moist, but maybe somebody finds you attractive because, um, you know, you're mutable. Maybe you're able to adapt easily with other people is what I'm hearing. You know, uh, water does hold our emotions. So maybe you're very emotional is also what I'm hearing. People like that. People, um, I'm hearing that you wear your heart on your sleeve, pile one, and people find that endearing. Yeah, you're, you're kind of an open book in that regard. Um, maybe you're very sensitive as well. Ace of Cups, I am getting um, crying. Maybe you're okay with crying or being sensitive. Bottom of the deck, we have Wheel of Fortune. So you could uh, be a fixed sign. You could be a Taurus, a Leo, an Aquarius, or a Scorpio. And then at the bottom of that, we have Seven of Cups. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again. You don't have to be these signs, but of course, you know, you could be. We have the names O, T, A, and R. Oath. I'm hearing Oath. So maybe people believe that you, um, one, you're fortunate. Um, you might have money. You might be good with money. But um, I'm getting that the reason why people are attracted to you, Pile One, is because you're dependable and you're reliable. I'm getting that you're not flaky. Um, if you say you're going to be there for somebody, you're definitely going to be there. Temperance is major arcana as well as the Wheel of Fortune. So I am getting Jupiter. I am hearing Jupiter. Jupiter might be ha uh, heavily aspected in your sign right now. Jupiter is in Pisces, so again, you could be a fixed sign though. If you're not mutable, you could be a uh, fixed. You could be Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or Scorpio. I'm seeing the snake here, so maybe you have an affinity with snakes. I am seeing this um, this figure that looks like a jackal, that looks a little bit like Anubis. So maybe you're into Egyptian mythology. There's gotta be a reason why I wanted uh, to, to read these cards. Soul kin, soul kin. So I'm hearing um, you like soul food or you like soul cooking. Okay, you might be a great cook. So that's one another thing that people find attractive about you. You may also be family orientated. Maybe you have children. If not, maybe, you know, people see you as like big mama is what I'm hearing. You're somebody that other people go to for advice, for wisdom. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see what else. What else do people find attractive about you? I'm getting a lot of blue here. So blue might be your favorite color or you might be drawn uh, to the water. Let's see. What else, Spirit? Give me three more. All right. Your kids will be all right. Yeah. Yeah. You're definitely a family person. Loving your body. Yeah. I'm getting like big mama. Like big mama. Like home cooking. Um, maybe you're somebody that smells good too. I'm actually kind of smelling like shea butter or like cocoa butter. So maybe people, um, they like the way you smell is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you're, you're pretty much a fix-it angel. Um, you're somebody that seems to have the answers. Loving your body. Yeah, so whoever is uh, attracted to you, they definitely love your body. But I'm hearing more than that. It's, it's more of your spirit than just your physical body. 
uh, but you do have a presence about you. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit saying that when you walk into a room, you command a presence. You're very loving. You're very giving and kind. You're also very intuitive is what I'm hearing, Pile 1. <clears throat> you need more self-love. So maybe you're, um, maybe you're a person that gives um, a lot of yourself to others. A new contract. You might be coming into a new opportunity soon. Um, could be with work. A new contract with work. Could be a new project. Your angels are protecting you. Yeah, with this, this is my fix it angel card. Temperance, you know. So your angels are definitely protecting you. I'm also hearing church going. You might be somebody who, who used to be very church going. So people feel that, that love, that presence about you. Um, if not you, then somewhere down the line, could be in your lineage, could be with your, your grandparents, could be with your ancestry is also what I'm hearing. Your angels are protecting you. You might be somebody who venerates your ancestors. Maybe you're somebody who um, is very much into your soul tribe, your soul kin. <clears throat> For some of you, I'm hearing incense and uh, frankincense and myrrh. So some of you might have just lit some frankincense and myrrh because now I'm smelling it too. You're probably Claire Gustian as well. You can smell uh, things. That's one of your Claire's. You can you can easily smell um, and be, tra I'm hearing teleported or transported to a different time. If you don't know that you have that, um, that Claire, you know, it's something that you should start to develop. A new contract. Yeah, a new contract. You definitely have family members around you who are very loving. Um, you can easily tap into the ancestors is also what I'm hearing. And this is what other people find attractive about you. You could be a tarot card reader. I just heard tarot card reader. <clears throat> I apologize, guys, if I sneeze or if I cough. Y'all know I've been getting over a cold. 16, 1 plus 6 is a 7. You could be a life path 7, born in July. You could be a cancer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some, some of you, if you don't have children, I'm hearing you have a spirit baby around you. I'm getting drawn to these babies in this card. You might have a spirit baby around you. Hmm. All right, you definitely, definitely, though, um, you know, need to give yourself self-love. Maybe growing up, you didn't feel like you were loved. Um, and right now, you might be going through a time to restore. Um, that might be something, that might be some shadow work, I'm hearing, that your ancestors might want you to work on. Um, also, later today, I'm going to do a reading for Patreon. It is going to be, uh, what does your... What does your family want to tell you? That was a recommended reading by Nikki. All right, Pile One, comment down below. Let me know if this resonates. Go ahead and give me a red heart if it does. I'm going to keep it moving and grooving. I'm going to move on to Pile Two. Pile Two is <clears throat> the winged cow. Let me go ahead and clear the energy from Pile Number One. Archangel Michael. Archangel Gabriel, ancestors, Ama, Apa, Abuelos y Abuelas, please clear the energy from pile number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pile two. <clears throat> Pile two. Ooh, we have your fleeting beauty. Let's see. Let's see. You might have long, thick hair. Could be dark or blonde. A time to walk alone. We have here stay true and be in your power, Osiris and Isis, Lord and Lady of Divine Authority. 
This card's beautiful. What do other people find attractive about you? Miracle of Isis, miraculous healing of the goddess. Yeah, some of you guys, if you're a masculine, you might have a gold T. If you're a woman, you might have bangs. <coughs> Next, we have the trickster, deceit, betrayal, guile. 19, 1 plus 9 is a 10. You could be at the end of a difficult cycle. Um, if you're a masculine, then you are somebody that might be uh, considered a player or a trickster. Um, maybe as a feminine energy, you know, you, I am hearing femme fatale. Maybe you're somebody who's a little bit of a heartbreaker. Right now you might be walking alone. You could have come out of a divorce or, um, a bad situation. This is usually my twin flames card in this deck. You might have a bad twin or you might be considered the bad twin. I'm hearing rebellious. You could be considered rebellious. Um, what others find attractive about you, though, is you are a little bit of a rebel without a cause. I'm thinking of West Side Story. Um, I just saw West Side Story, y'all, the new one. Um, so I'm getting that that imagery um, in my head. Maybe you're somebody who falls in love with people on the other side of the tracks. With the trickster here, deceit, betrayal, guile. <coughs> mm, I'm hearing Gemini. I'm hearing Gemini. You could be a Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Stay true and be in your power. So people see you as very powerful, um, Pile 2. Maybe you know the power you have in your sexuality is what I'm hearing. Um, maybe you feel like because you're getting older, um, you're trying to preserve your looks is what I'm hearing. You could be a masculine who likes to work out or a feminine who likes to work out, who takes pride in your appearance. I'm getting a lot of air sign energy with this. Being that these people look like they're all outside. Like the air is flowing through your clothes is what I'm hearing. You could be a woman who likes to wear a lot of dresses. These women seem to look like they're wearing a lot of dresses. You could like to... Um, I'm hearing maquillaje. Maquillaje is makeup. You like to do yourself up if you are a feminine. You like bold makeup choices. Maybe you even like to change your hair or change your wigs because all of these women seem to have different color hair. Green hair, purple hair, brown hair, black hair, blue hair. Um, hmm, I'm hearing mysterious, so other people might think you're mysterious, pile too. Maybe you don't, um, you don't easily let people know what you're thinking and they find that very, um, very captivating is what I'm hearing. Yeah, but I am getting like, uh, because Trickster is here, I am getting like a little bit of a rebel without a cause. Maybe you prefer to be quiet and you don't tell everybody everything all at once. You like to be unpackaged like a present is what I'm hearing. Give me three, please, Spirit. We have here the Hierophant, so Taurus. The Hierophant is the high priest in a religious ceremony, organizational structure. You could like going to work. You could like um, being the person that people go to for religious information. The high priest is what I'm hearing. We have here Prince of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That is my Casanova card. So yeah, so people see you as a little bit of a heartbreaker pile too. Um, a knight in shining armor is also what I'm hearing with this Prince of Cups. So you're somebody who likes to ride on in and ride on out. Some people may also see you as being uh, a little immature. 
is what I'm hearing. Bottom of the deck, the hanged man. Yeah, you could be a Pisces. Maybe you're very playful. <clears throat> Maybe you're very unassuming is what I'm hearing. If that's not you, that could be a twin. Um, you could have a twin that's either a Taurus or a Pisces. Mm. Why the hanged man spirit? Why is the hanged man here? Maybe you're somebody that just likes to hang around. Maybe you don't like uh, commitment is what I'm hearing with this card. The Hierophant, though, is about commitment. So if you're not married, then you might act aloof like an air sign. Pile um, pile two. Mm, Prince of Swords, Page of Swords. Yeah, so you're a little bit of a stalker. You like to be obsessed with people or you like to have them obsessed with you is what I'm hearing. Page of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of air energy with this. I heard Gemini outright. But again, you could be any any sign. This is a general reading. Mm, if you are a, a feminine, you have long curly hair or long hair. You like wearing your hair long. Betrayal. Somebody could have betrayed you. Like I said, this is usually my good twin, bad twin card. You could definitely have a twin flame out there. Why is this a time to walk alone, spirit? Show me why. Yeah, you guys could have came out of a relationship. Could be going through a divorce. Yeah, Prince of Wands. Yeah, that's the player card. Prince of Wands. So maybe you got cheated on. Or maybe people see you as a cheater. Keep in mind, I am... Taking all the cards into consideration. And you did get the trickster card here. Don't take offense if that's not you. It could be somebody you were dealing with. Prince of Wands. Stay true. You could be an Aries Leo or a Sag. Stay true and be in your power. Isis. Isis. Name could be Isabel. Lord and Lady of Divine Authority. Hmm. Yeah, if this resonates, give me a black heart. Um, hmm, I'm, I'm hearing that you're very much aloof, Pile 2. Maybe people don't take you seriously when it comes to uh, romantic entanglements. Some people see you as flighty. You know, the Prince of Wands is somebody who rides on in and rides on out. A time to wander alone. So right now, you could be alone. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead and give me a black heart if this resonates. Um, coming up, I'm going to have a family reading. Nikki recommended it. Shouts out to Geechee Sierra Tarot, who's still sending me money for my birthday. Thanks, Terry. I appreciate you. Y'all go check out Geechee Sierra Tarot. Thank you to everybody who has sent me the well wishes, too. Because y'all know I've been sick. Give me one more spirit, and then I'm going to move on to pile three. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These cards want to talk. Give me one spirit. We got here six of cups. Yeah, past life soulmate, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you definitely have a soulmate out here or a twin flame. Yeah, I'm hearing some of you, there's confusion. You don't know what to do. You don't know how to move forward. That's why the hangman is here. Some of y'all, it's about your perspective, changing your perspective. Some of you guys might be learning uh, something new when it comes to spirituality. Yeah, if you're not working on your looks right now, maybe you want to change your hair color is also what I'm hearing. People find this intriguing about you. All right, pile two. Comment down below. Let me know if this resonates. I'm moving on to pile three. What do others find attractive about my pile three? Go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. Let me clear my energy from piles one and two. <clears throat> All right. So we got the Yule Singer, Rebirth, Feasting, Joy, 36. I'm getting uh, Christmas time, so you could be a Sag or a Capricorn, 36. 3 plus 6 is a 9. You could be a Life Path 9 or born in, what's that, August or September. 
as well. The Yule Singer, that's that Yule Log. Temple of Black Obsidian, the Dark Healing Chamber. Black Obsidian is a protective stone, so maybe you may need to get um, other people's energy out of your auric field is what I'm hearing, Pile 2. Power over seven scorpions. Power to conjure lower vibrational forces. Ooh we pile three. You're a conjure queen. You could be into hoodoo, voodoo, santeria, brujeria, etc. Yeah, you're very powerful, pile um three. If you're a witch or a sancista or something like that, a santera, you're very powerful, pile three. Could also be very intuitive. The awakening. Yeah, you awaken others is what I'm hearing. You might put them online to their clairs. Pile three, 14, one plus four is a five. You might be going through change. You might be taking back your power, pile three, 27. Two plus seven is another nine. Empowerment, we got two nines here. You might be seeing nine, nine, nine. Empowerment, yeah. You're definitely a strong person, pile three. You're heavily protected. Your ancestors heavily protect you. This is what others find attractive about you. If you don't have long, uh, thick hair, you could be African, African-American, Egyptian. I'm hearing Ethiopian as well. You could also um, be blonde or maybe you like to dye your hair blonde. Temple of Black Obsidian, the Dark Healing Chamber. Yeah, you, you awakened others, pile three. This is what your significant others find attractive about you. Maybe your, oh, okay, I heard healing presence. So maybe your sex is even healing. Maybe you were, um, I'm hearing frail. Maybe you were very, like, gentle and sensitive when you were little and now um, you're coming into your power. You're coming into your own. You could also be coming into your your sexual power <clears throat> excuse me guys if I sneeze or cough because I've been getting over a cold yeah pile three you're very very powerful you can also be a mother or a father your children are very intelligent is what I'm hearing pile three you're showing your children how to do magic as well how to trust their intuition power to conjure lower vibrational forces so lower vibrational forces are always attracted to you because they want your light is what i'm hearing i'm getting drawn to this yellow pile three this is what makes you attractive your light is very attractive could be your sacral or your solar plexus is always beaming and you always attract lower vibrational uh, forces could be scorpios are always attracted to you too they find you sexy you could be a scorpio Archangel Metatron, give me three, please, off the top, the middle, and the back. I saw here uh, the Leo card, the Lion, the Strength card, so you could be strong. Give me three, Spirit. We got here Ace of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You got a new opportunity coming. It could be in love. Could be a new uh, business opportunity, a new job. Could be more money coming to you as well. So you're very abundant, pile three. Next, we got the lovers. Yeah, yeah, you might have a choice to make between two. Could be Gemini involved. If you didn't check out pile two, go check out pile two. Bottom of the deck, strength, what I say. You're very strong, pile three. You could be coming out of heartbreak, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Pile um three, you're a very, very strong person. And this is what people find attractive about you spirits telling me to put these cards up here yeah you could have a twin flame out here you know if you believe in that of course if you don't believe in that that's fine too you don't have to we have major arcana here the lovers and strength <clears throat> you could be a leo you can have Leo heavily aspected in your chart. That could be your north node, south node, rising. You definitely know how to tame beasts is what I'm hearing. Pile, um, pile three, your love. I'm hearing um, that Nicki Minaj song. Do, 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 do. Ah. Mm. 
He's fearless. Dot da 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 do. Mm. You got sparkle. You got spark. You got something all the girls want. Oh, I don't know. I'm hearing that song. That's kind of an old song when she first came out. Mm hmm. You got that spark. You got something that all the girls want. If you're a masculine or, or a feminine, it doesn't matter. You might be coming out of heart, heartbreak. You could have a twin that broke your heart. And you learned how to be strong. You had learned how to stand in your power. Pile three. Ace of Pentacles. You got um, abundance, though. The universe is going to reward you. Keep in mind, the pentacle <clears throat> is the universe rewarding you. That's the universe's hand. That's God's hand on your life. You're heavily protected, Pile um, pile 3, with this black tourmaline, um, black obsidian, excuse me. Strength. A bunch of yellow here. You're beaming. You're like the sun card. Yeah, people see your strength. Um, you're also, I'm hearing, and you're also inspiring, is how I'm hearing it. You inspire others, pile three. If this resonates, give me a. Give me an evil eye emoji. Yeah, the lovers. Um, could be your body. People find you sexy. I mean, uh, these people are naked here on this card. So maybe you're okay with uh, showing your body. Maybe you're modest, but you don't mind showing your sexiness is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> you can also play koi. This is a koi fish. So you can play koi as well. You can play shy sometimes. Mm. You might be going through a change, a transition. Nine is usually at the end of a hard cycle. So you're definitely an overcomer is what I'm hearing, pile three. You might have nice full lips. This person has nice full lips or even if they're small. People might think your lips are sexy. I'm also hearing you smell good, pile, um, pile three. You could have dark black hair. I think I said that already, right? You can also be Asian. I'm getting a lot of Asian with this, with this empowerment card. Could be a fish. You could be a Pisces. You don't have to be, but you could be. Or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I am getting now drawn to the green, the earth. The earth here. This has the infinity symbol. You could have an infinity symbol tattooed on you. <clears throat> you could like dragons. You could like uh, fish or even butterflies, I'm hearing. I'm hearing flor de lead. Um, that's usually a symbol that's found in French, um, French architecture or any kind of French design. Hmm. Maybe you'd like to design with that element. Lord the lead. Hmm. All right, y'all. Comment down below. Let me know if this resonates. Uh, I'm going to do another video tonight for Patreon. It's going to be uh, what's going on with your family that was recommended by Nikki so I'll do that later all right y'all take care bye-bye